Markets are often accused by those on the left of being immoral. The reaction to the attacks in Paris seems to give this the lie, with what some have called a patriotic rally kicking in to lift shares well above where they stood before ISIS killed 129 people on Friday. Equity markets are showing little in the way of patriotism in fact, though. If they were, the shares to buy to express solidarity with the City of Light would be those most exposed to an intensified French terror threat, Aeroport de Paris and Air France KLM. Instead, markets are doing their usual job as amoral weighers of likely outcomes. Both companies saw their shares hard hit on Monday and rebounded by less than the market today. Investors have concluded that extra security checks and fear of further attacks somewhat reduces the prospect for French tourism, particularly by air. Other European hotel and holiday stocks have also been hurt, particularly France's Accor. Now, the amoral processes of the market have, on the other hand, pushed up the price of defence companies. Demand for heavy weapons to bombard the ISIS-held parts of Syria will surely rise, but so too will other aspects of defence, with even the supposedly cash-strapped UK government already digging deep to find £2 billion for extra equipment for the SAS and the resources to hire another 1,900 spies. French defence and aerospace company Thales was picked immediately as an obvious winner. You can see that up at the top here, with both drones and cyber security featuring among its products. Now, as well as the division of the spoils, investors also need to consider the possible overall effect on the economy. The attacks have already sparked political backlash across Europe and even, bizarrely, among Republicans in the US. More obviously relevant, though, is the insistence by President Hollande that the need for extra spending on state security trumps European austerity demands, a sort of illiberal Keynesian stimulus. Overall, though, the market reaction has been relatively subdued. You can see some of that. There were these sharp drops in Aeroport de Paris, uh, that's the red line, and in uh, Air France, the green line, relative to the overall market, that's the French market here in blue. And you can see, whilst they were quite big drops on the day, they're really not particularly out of line with the sorts of things that we've seen uh, earlier this year, and in fact, far less important than what have been going on in the broader market. And we can compare here what happened after the September the 11th attacks in 2001, when US airlines plunged by a third. That's the airline sector there, uh, and S&P 500 airlines. Uh, the blue line shows S&P 500 as a whole. And Northrop Grumman there jumped by a third. I picked that just as a sample defence stock, but it was one among many to benefit. Now, this isn't about markets putting a different value on French versus American lives. There were, after all, more than 20 times as many casualties in 2001. The market does, of course, put much higher value on both French and American lives compared to Syrian lives, where as many people as died in Paris die pretty much every day, unnoticed by investors. They don't uh, spend much, and so really don't matter to global stock, stock markets. But really, the smaller reaction in Europe than in the US reflects the fact that what happened doesn't appear to be a major turning point, unlike 2001. France and its European allies may spend a little more on defence, and they may pummel ISIS-controlled areas of Syria a little harder. The European Central Bank might be somewhat more willing to ease monetary policy again at next month's meeting. While the specifics of Friday night's tragic attacks were shocking, more terror attacks in Europe were widely expected, and there'll almost certainly be more to come too, for all the spending by governments. For the moment, investors are betting that Parisians and the rest of the continent will carry on with their lives, and there'll be little lasting effect on most companies' costs, revenues or profits. Now this might of course turn out not to be correct, but it's amoral, not immoral.